Hello, year one, and welcome to today's religion education lesson. Before we begin today's lesson, I would like you to reflect back on your prayer learning. What do you remember about Judaism? What do you just believe about God? Where do they go to pray? Can you remember any of the special objects that they have? What about the, the important leaders? Do you remember any of their names? Okay, so let's move on with today's learning. Your learning question for today is, what is important about the early life of Moses for Jewish people? Your steps to success are to talk about Moses' early life, to know what an authority figure is, and to describe some of the qualities of a leader. Star Wars, my turn, your turn, my turn first. Moses, leader, authority, authority figure, qualities. Okay, fantastic. So now we are going to hear the story of the, the early life of Moses. But before we do that, I would like you to reflect back on your prayer learning and think, who was Moses? Why was he important for Jewish people? Have a little think before we start. Do you remember? Okay, are you ready to listen to his story? Okay, ready, steady, let's go. One of the most important people in Judaism is called Moses. He was a great leader who helped the Jewish people make their home in their promised land a country that is now called Israel. The Jewish story of Moses. Many years ago, the Jewish people were living in Egypt. The Egyptians and their king, the Pharaoh, were very mean to the Jewish people because they were worried that they were going to take over their land. The Egyptians put all the Jewish people to work as slaves and decided that they would kill all the Jewish newborn baby boys. The Jewish people were very upset about this and prayed to God for a leader to help them. Moses was born. To make sure Moses wasn't killed by the Egyptians, Moses' mother put him in a basket and set him adrift on the river. There, the Pharaoh's daughter found him. He was rescued by a princess. Without realizing, the princess let Moses' real mum look after him, and Moses grew up as an Egyptian prince in the palace. When he was grown up, he was very angry that his people, the Jewish people, were still being treated so badly by the Egyptians. One day, he lost his temper and killed an Egyptian guard. The Pharaoh was furious about this, and Moses ran away to another land. Moses worked there as a shepherd for many years. One day, he saw a flaming bush in the desert. As he came close, he heard God's voice. Go back to Egypt. Tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Moses travelled back to Egypt and demanded that the Pharaoh set his people free. The Pharaoh laughed and said, <laughs> no way. Because the Pharaoh said no, God sent ten plagues to Egypt to teach Pharaoh a lesson. Each one was worse than the last. A plague of frogs, locusts, diseases for cattle. But Pharaoh would still not set the Jewish people free. Then God sent the tenth and final plague. God sent the angel of death to Egypt to kill all of the firstborn sons of families in Egypt. The Jewish people were told, paint your door with a lamb's blood. Then the angel of death will pass over your houses. Your children will be safe. The next morning, the Pharaoh finally agreed to Moses' demands. The slaves were set free. The Jewish festival of Passover is celebrated in the spring every year to remember this. The Pharaoh demanded that Moses lead his people away, never to return to Egypt. So Moses led his people away from Egypt, hoping to find their promised land, a place where the Jewish people could live in peace. But once Moses and the Jewish people had set off on their journey, the Pharaoh soon changed his mind and decided to go after them with 600 chariots. When Moses and his people reached the Red Sea, which wasn't actually red despite its name, they didn't know what to do. How can we get across? The Egyptians have nearly caught them. God told Moses to lift his shepherd's staff up to the heavens. By a miracle, the waters of the Red Sea parted 
and Moses was able to lead his people through the middle of the water. They made it safely to the other side, before the sea came crashing down all over the Egyptians who were trying to catch them. Six hundred chariots were no use at the bottom of the sea. Moses had helped his people escape to freedom, and they continued their journey to their promised land, trusting in God. Now, now that we read Moses' story, let's have a little think about what an authority figure is. What do you think it is? We talked about it before, so do you remember? An authority figure is someone who enforces rules and law and is someone who is helping us to stay safe. Now, can you think of an authority figure in your life? What about a policeman or a firefighter or a doctor or a crossing guard? Are they authority figures? Do they enforce laws? Do they help, help people stay safe? What about your parents or your, the adult in your house, your carers? Do you think that they are an authority figure? Okay, so now I would like you to have a little think and reflect on the, the story of Moses' early life. Was Moses an authority figure? What were his qualities? Was he a leader? Yeah, he was, you're right. He was an authority figure because he was able to enforce the rules and the law that God gave him. Do you remember what the 10 laws that God gave Moses were called? That's right, they were called the 10 commandments and Moses made sure that Jewish people followed them and he made sure that they stay safe. So that make Moses an authority figure. Now, let's have a look at your task today. Now, I'd like you to think of an authority figure. Then I would like you to draw a picture of an authority figure in your home learning book. And I would like you to write some of the qualities that shape a good leader. Once you do that, I would like you to think of your challenge, which is how do we pay respect? Hmm, have a think. Now, make sure you take a picture and you send that to your class teacher. I hope you enjoy your lesson today and well done, year one. I will see you next time. Bye.